This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. Not many scientific studies begin like this. Many hours of watching YouTube clips, trying to find as many yawns as possible. But for Andrew Gallup, an evolutionary psychologist who studies yawning at the State University of New York, it was all in a day's work. Gallup says yawns have traditionally been known as a sign of sleepiness or boredom. But recent evidence suggests that yawning may function to uh, promote brain cooling. The idea being when you breathe in deeply, the incoming air slightly cools the brain. And stretching the jaw increases blood flow to the brain too, another cooling factor. The reason we do it at night? At nighttime, when we're about to go to sleep, our brain and body temperatures are at their highest point during the day, and that's when we see highest frequency of yawning. And so Gallup and his colleagues found themselves hunting for cat videos on the internet. Along with clips of dogs, foxes, elephants, gorillas, hedgehogs, squirrels, rats, even walruses yawning. They timed all those yawns and then compared them to each species' average brain weight and the number of neurons in the cerebral cortex. Their conclusion, published in Biology Letters, was that the length of a yawn was a remarkably good predictor of an animal's brain weight and cortical neuron number, regardless of the size of its skull or jawbone. What that really represents is that, that yawning likely serves this, this very basic and fundamental uh, neurophysiological function. In other words, it helps the brain keep its cool. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata. <laughs>